Hey Beaker Middle School and welcome to the Back to School September edition of What's New in the Library. I hope everyone had a great summer. I hope you read something over the summer. If you ran into me out in the big world of Marshall over the summer, I'm sure I said hi, gave you a hug, and asked you if you had read anything. Because that's what I ask everyone. So hopefully you stuck your nose into some kind of a book or magazine or graphic novel or something amazing this summer to keep your brain just ticking away. I know I was busy reading this summer, and so I want to feature three of the books that I picked up and took home with me over the summer. Actually, all three of them came in new in July, so I snagged them as soon as they came in and read all three this summer. So the featured books this month are kind of interesting. We're going to start with The Twelve-Fingered Boy. Now, this one is young adult, you might notice. So if you haven't turned in your young adult note or you're in fifth grade, this one is off limits. This is kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. It's in the mystery section because it's a mystery, but it's got some weird things going on to it. It's about a boy named Shreve, and he is in, like, juvie, like, jail for kids in the state of Arkansas. And he's kind of happy there. He gets three meals a day, which is better than he got at his really bad home, and... He's got this really good business selling illegal candy. Like, he smuggles in M&Ms and sells them to the kids. So he's got a good thing going until a boy named Jack shows up. And Jack is clearly not the same as everyone else. As a matter of fact, both of his hands have six fingers, which is why he's called the 12-fingered boy. And Shreve feels bad for the kid. I mean, he gets bullied, he gets harassed and taunted, and everybody's mean to him. But the biggest problem is this guy that works there. He's kind of like um, a psychologist. And he is clearly trying to get to Jack. And Shreve thinks he needs to protect him. And there's only one way to protect a kid, and that's to get him out. And so this book is about their escape from juvenile prison and how the 12-fingered boy ends up playing a pretty big part in that. This is the first in a trilogy. So really funky, weird book. I liked it a lot. The next one is called Frostfire. And this one is in our fantasy section, but it definitely is a fantasy with some romance in it. It's about a girl named Bren who stands out like a sore thumb in her kingdom because she's blonde haired and blue eyed and everyone else is dark skin and dark hair and dark eyes. And she just totally stands out. But she um, wants to make it kind of in the king's guard. She wants to be one who protects everyone. And that's hard to do when you stand out. You're kind of treated like a freak. Um, so she begins working to kind of try to make her way. The problem is she falls for the guy who's supposed to be training her. And so they go on. They end up going to some other kingdoms, and it involves some other kingdoms and some of Amanda Hawking's books. Um, so this one kind of crosses fantasy, paranormal, romance genres. Very going to not young adults. So if you're into uh, romance, fantasy, and paranormal, this one could be one you would like to check out. Again, it's Frostfire. The first book in a trilogy. The other two are Ice Kissed and Crystal Kingdom. We have them all. And that brings us to On the Run. On the Run is action and adventure. This one is about a kid who is always, he's always wanted to be a cop. He likes to kind of watch cop shows and investigations. And so he's intrigued one day when the police show up at his house looking for his parents. Now, right after the police leave, his parents show back up, throw him in the car and tell him and his sister they're going on vacation, which is clearly not okay because they've never been on vacation. So he knows something's up. He, they end up going to this cabin in the middle of the woods and hiding out, and he figures out pretty quick that his parents have committed a crime. And uh, in the course of running and trying to be, stay alive, they end up getting separated. And he and his sister are stuck surviving alone in the woods. Now the question is, do you seek help and turn your parents in, or do you stay on the run for the rest of your life? So that is On the Run. Next, we're going to take a look at some of the gazillion new books that came in over the summer. We have a Newbery Award winner, The War That Saved My Life. We got in a ton of the Horse Diary series as requested. A new multicultural book called Heaven won the Coretta Scott King Award. This is Teen Boat, new graphic novel series. Cleopatra in Space, another new graphic novel series. Wolf by Wolf, a great new adventure book about the race to kill Hitler. Run, a realistic fiction story of two girls. Awkward, a new graphic novel about a girl having trouble fitting in. We got a bunch of new Minecraft books. We got a series on tips and tricks of beauty, like hair care and nail care. This is the Knights of the Lunch Table graphic novel series. We got a new baseball series about t 12 reasons to love about every team in Major League Baseball. Since You've Been Gone is a book about two girls, Emily and Sloane. Out of the blue, Sloane just leaves, oh, Sloane disappears and leaves a list of things Emily must do 
um, Emily must complete uh, before the summer ends. But the question is, will Emily be able to finish this list without Sloan? <laughs> you should read uh, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Okay. This is a book called The Code of Honor by Alan Gratz. This is a really good book. It's about Cam Cameron Smith, who is a really good football player. But then his brother is accused of being a terrorist because there's a video and they think it's him. So his life completely changes and he goes to jail and he thinks, I have to save Darius. So he goes on this amazing adventure trying to save his older brother. It is a really good book. You should read it. What I like about this book, which is named Get Into Gear, Drama of Stockton, is that I like how it's kind of science fiction is. It's about a robot car named Saul. So what I like about it, of this book is it has some humor on it, and it's also good if you like some science and technology. I would highly recommend this book. Here's something else that's new around Beaker Middle School, and these are the book turn-in tubs. So if you're done with your library book and you know you want to bring it back because you don't want somebody to steal it, you don't want to lose it, but you can't get to the library because your teachers won't let you or you're just so busy, you can use the book return tubs. There's one located outside of the gym next to the drinking fountain, and there's one in the cafeteria. So just drop your books into these bins, and we pick them up every day, third hour. So it's just like you made it to the library to drop off your books. And now that we have them back, they can go on to someone else to read. So be sure to use your library book return bins. So here's something that's just a little bit different this year. If you want to be in what's new in the library or you want to request a book to be ordered, we added these to the BMS library homepage. So um, the, re the reason we added this is because these shoot straight to a Google Doc form that I can get to quicker. So those of you who are requesting book th books through Destiny Quest, you can still do that, but I will definitely see these quicker. And if you want to be in an edition of what's new in the library, you can click on that link here, fill out a form, and I will be interested in picking you next time. Psst, you, hey, you, the kid sitting in class, his phone is supposed to be turned off in their pocket, but we both know it's really on. Are you following the library on Instagram yet? You should be. When you get out of school today, like as in when the bell rings, go to Instagram and search Beaker Library, spelled like this, and then you can follow us on Instagram. We're going to post new books when they come in. You can see what's going on in the library, even if you can't get here. It's like your own little visit to the library digitally, so make sure you follow us. Well, that does it for the back to school edition of What's New in the Library. I want to thank everybody who came out to the red carpet book release. This year's award books are amazing, and many of you got your hands on one that day. Um, also, keep your eyes open for new books coming out. Keep, make sure you keep checking the new book cart, and um, we will see everybody in October. Happy reading!